And here we have a Faction Wars match, and I'm surprised this hasn't happened between these two groups much, much, much sooner! We have Extreme Defiance versus Dragoons then in an eight man elimination tag team matchup. Nick Dragoon, Rob Retro, Cody CW, and Lijack taking on Darren Novak, Lou Sigma, Taunt, and Quinn. And Nick's AEW World Championship title shot is on the line. If Dragoons then does not win this match. If Extreme Defiance wins this match, Lou Sigma gets that AEW World title shot that Nick won at the summer, the Rumble of the Summer. <laughs> My God. And this all started after the screw job betray, like taunt costing Rob Retro. A shot at the X Flyer Championship and turning his back on the roster and the fans enjoying Extreme Defiance. The following contest <laughs> is an elimination match. Introducing first at a combined weight of 960 pounds. And my god, this, like, these guys were going against the collective. They're trying to, like, Nick's trying to get revenge and win the world championship from CKW. Now he has an AEW world title shot. And they're caught off guard because Lou Sigma and the rest of Dragoons, I mean, the rest of Extreme Defiance called them out backstage at house shows. The whole taunt betraying the roster, betraying the fans, costing Rob Retro the X Flyer championship recently. And brother versus brother, Rob Retro and Lou Sigma wanted to get their hands on each other once again. We got Dragoons then standing behind their guy Rob, going after them, being sidelined from the collective, and Extreme Defiance calling them out and trying to make a statement of them, trying to take them down here in Japan. And Lou Sigma put on the idea, if you're so willing to fight us now, I want your AEW World title shot when we win. He didn't say if, he said win. Damn, they're not even playing their song. They're just entering to a crowd of to to a crowd of booze. And at a combined weight, weight of 923 pounds, evolution. And my God, just look! This is the first time we are officially seeing Taunt, Don, the Green, Extreme Defiance colors. My God, that. According to him, he felt that the roster, he felt that various wrestlers have been screwing him over for too long, and he believes that Extreme Defiance is what it takes for him to get further in this company, which, I mean, you could do as you want, but you're turning your back on all the people that love you, all the fans that watch you, and all the wrestlers that supported you. They are entering to a crowd of booze, no theme whatsoever. Damn. And they hold three belts there. We got the Tag Team Champions Darren Novak and Queen. We got the X-Flyer Champion Lou Sigma. And if, could you imagine them winning this match and Lou Sigma getting a shot at the AEW World Championship and bringing that to CKW to be part of Extreme Defiance? Damn! No music. I That's really something. We got, we got Brother vs. Brother starting off. It's Rob. It's Lou. Oh god, Rob! Immediately catching him with the... He trying to end his brother right away, get to go to sleep. As he sends him off the ropes and catches him with a German! And now he, oh damn, that's just cold. Just kicking the dirt off into his face. And he's going for his brother. He's going for his brother with an Inziguri. Or more like a shiny wizard, but okay. Signs of the great Muta here in Japan with that <laughs> with the shining wizard to his brother. Oh, got spear! 
just trying to send a statement and now Nick wanting to get his hands the man that if he loses he has the most to lose in this match I don't know how the stipulation came to be but Nick Dragoon is defending it he wants to fight for his man he wants to take down Extreme Defiance here and sit in punishment and he has been willing to accept the, the stipulation that if he loses all that effort he took to win the Rumble of the Summer and get an AEW World title shot it may not be the CKW World title shot, but he could very well become a world champion with that match. Oh, God, the clothesline sends him outside the ring. He's just telling him off. He's mocking him off. We got Quinn. We got a fight outside the ring. They're just tag teaming, double teaming. He's just mocking him in the crowd. Quinn just mocking him. And they're just going right after. Oh God, Spinebuster! Damn it! What the hell? Quinn taking it. It's sending him damn into the turn into the freaking barricade. And a kick. Face Buster! Damn it, don't tell me you're going for a damn count out in this damn match. He's, he's literally telling Nick to suck it. But Darren, Darren has other plans. Darren's just taking him outside the ring here. He's telling him to bring it on. Is it going to be a count? Is it literally going to be a count out? Wait, when did they ch We're going beyond 10? Yeah, we are. are we did they finally decide to count in Japanese rules where it's like a 20 count outside the ring? <laughs> and you got the you got Rob back in here and Quinn gets thrown off the in a reversal to a neck breaker, a spinning neck breaker. To, oh, but Quinn's not going down that easily. Oh, damn! A clothesline to Lijack sends him out. As he has Quinn up. Oh, I thought he was going for the go to sleep, but he decided to just face plant Quinn into the damn mat. And Quinn is left stunned and confused. And the fans are on their feet. They are chanting for Rob Retro as Quinn is trying to climb over. But no, he gets up in the nick of time. And he gets dropped. Kick to the gut. In comes Cody. In comes Cody. Cody has him up. Cody drops him with the damn cutter. Over. One. One. Two. And a save from Lou. I think Quinn was out there. Damn. But Cody's pissed. Cody. Cody's signaling for it. Cody wants him up. Cody wants him up. But then he's going for those strikes. He's going for those punches. Takes down Cody. In comes Darren. Novak. Laughing it up. Damn. Cody not knowing where he's at as he has him up. Drops him with that Falcon Zero like maneuver, trying to go for the pin, trying to go for the pin. One, two, but no, a save from Nick. And Lou's going right after him. And a face buster. And he takes him down. He sends him flying. Oh, she's but Cody's not out of it just yet. As the fans here are riled up and Darren sending a statement. But no, Cody. Cody catches Darren off. Oh, but no, not enough. Oh, but enough to catch him again and face smash him into the damn mat. And the riled up fans here. And he lifts him up. Holy hell, he dropped him off the damn turnbuckle with that leverage. And this riled up fans here in Japan, in Tokyo at the National Park. Face first into the turnbuckle. 
and he tags and Rob. He tags and Rob. He tags and Rob as he puts him up. Oh, God, does he go for the doomsday? A damn doomsday device in Japan that got the Road Warriors, the Legion of Doom. Oh, he puts him down, puts him in the go. Puts him in the submission. The Anaconda device. 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 And he's eliminated. Darren Novak. Darren Novak has been eliminated. And he just dropped him. And in comes. And this is Rob wanting to get his revenge on Taunt. Taunt cost him the X Flyer Championship. Taunt joining Extreme Defiance. Oh God! He lifts him up. Bray go to save, but no, a save from. But oh no, bulldog! And there's booze raining through this stadium. She sends him. Oh, outside the ring, and there goes Quinn going after him. We got Lou. And Rob. Puts him, oh, damn. Puts him over. And Taunt gets him flying and gets put into a neck breaker. One, two, but no. Taunt is not having any of this. Oh, and a punch to the face as he puts him up. For a go to sleep. One, two, three. Holy hell. This entire thing is going and blowing up in their face. There's two eliminations. Two. Oh, God. and a punch and a Quinn and look at Lou Sigler's face he just is realizing exactly what's happening that Taunt's been eliminated by the go to sleep well uh, by any move but he wouldn't have seen the go to sleep but he sees it's down it's a handicap three four on two and they got Rob in the corner oh god just me oh damn oh god he has him up what the hell is he going for Going for the punches. And there goes Taunt outside the ring. He takes Nick down. Oh, Nick. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God, no, he sent him over. Ah! And he goes after. He was about to go up and do something to Rob, but now he's going after Lijak. He has his eyes forgotten. He has his eyes forgotten. He has his eyes forgotten. Go to sleep sends down. Darren. One, two, but no, a save. Not Darren. Quinn. I'm getting all tossed and turned here. I'm forgetting who was eliminated. Oh, God. Face buster. And he dropped the leg drop on absolutely no one. Oh, he takes it to Cody. He takes it to Nick. Oh, God, he has him with another face buster. And he sends him out. And Quinn. Quinn going for that pin. One, two, three. And Rob has been eliminated by that cheap tactic taken to the wrestlers on the outside. But Quinn, has, they still are down by one. And Cody has, oh. Oh, he gets right up. Oh! He saw it, he saw it coming. 
He, they both went for it, but Cody's the one that connected, and Cody goes for the kick! And he has him up for a cutter! He's half dead, but Lou Sigma with the bear save, and somehow knocks down Nick in the same process as he's putting Quinn, Cody is putting Quinn up, drops him with another cutter. Going for the pin, one, but no, a save from Lou. Lou is looking at his chances of getting an AEW World title shot up in smoke. And Quinn, Quinn sends Cody into the ropes. Oh, and a kick, super kick to the damn face. And we got Lijak tied in, Lijak, and it's down to, it's Sigma taking, oh, damn. Oh, God, he tried to go for something, but Lijak seen it coming a mile away, and Lijak drops him with the damn neck breaker. And Ly he's rolling to the outside of the ring. And Lijak's up top. Holy hell, Lijak is not known for high flying moves. Go for the elbow! God! He went for the damn elbow. And a drop kick. Oh, God. Lou Sigma was able to come back after getting an elbow put into his damn back. And Rob. Oh, I mean, I mean, Lijak didn't see that one coming. Pedigree! Oh, Lord. He's just riling him up. Putting him down. He's just waiting for him. He sees him on the outside of the ring. And he goes for a second. Pedigree. Oh, damn. Is it, is it 20 count? Because it was 11 last time they were outside the ring. And we got Lijak, who's half dead, hurt out here. Oh, God, come on, dude. <laughs> Just another, oh, God. Oh, God. Reversal from Lijak. Reversal from Lijak. And as he gets jacked. And Lijak, oh god. Oh god, he's trying for it. He tried to go for an 18. Tried, oh! And they both get in. Oh god, a 20 count would have eliminated either of them. But no, they're still fighting. And a clothesline sends them out. He just toes after Cody. The Lijak. Oh god, he tags in. He tags him in. The assisted diving crossbody. He's trying. But Nick. Nick has him up for a DDT. The Impaler DDT. One. Oh. Quinn. Quinn trying to get involved, trying to help, but <laughs> he gets the punch. And he has a damn pedigree. He has a damn pedigree on the neck. And he takes him down. He takes him down. Nick, no! Pin, one, two, three. And Nick has to rely on Lijak and Cody to not lose his AEW World title shot. It's down. It's tag team. It's Lijak and Cody CW. It's Lou Sigma and Quinn. Oh, 
going down goes Rijak. And oh jeez, in goes a save from Cody. And boos are raining in from this crowd. All these cheap tactics from Extreme Defiance. He has a spine monster. Oh my god. Oh god, he has him. He's going. And it looks like Lou is fed up with the damn it, Dragoons at this point. Oh no! Come on! Damn! One, two, three. It's down to a handicap. It's all on Cody. And these fans are up behind Cody. And he tags in Quinn. It looks like there was a talk between him and Quinn. What the hell? There was a talk between him. Wait, what are you doing? This is not a DQ. Oh god, he went right after him, but Quinn has the damn chair, and he's circling his ring. He's egging him on. This is a 20 count out here. He could stay out here for another, like, 16 sec- well, 15 seconds. Oh. He got- oh, come on, don't tell me this is what I think you're doing. Cody got decked, but Cody sees it coming. Cody going straight after Lou. Straight after Lou, he got himself disqualified so that that weapon shot could weaken Cody. Damn it all, come on. Oh, throws him. No, he throws him back into the ring. As they're leaving the ring. Oh God, Cody, Cody, Cody. Sends him to get sent flying outside the ring is Lou, and these fans are if up on the, above their seats, standing all chatting for Cody as he's mocking Cody at this point. Oh God, he sends him down, Lou. Lou gets caught. Lou gets caught. Oh! Oh, and a drop kick. It's down to Lou. Lou did that tactic. He wanted the weekend Cody, but Cody! Oh! Cody! 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 Go! Damn. He's... Come on, Cody. Damn it! My God, he's signaling. Oh, come on. Cody! Oh, no! No! Cody! Lou! Lou. Lou is not backing down. Oh, damn. Punch to the freaking gut. A spine buster. Freaking hell. He tells him. Tells him he's gonna. He's telling all these fans here. He's telling every single fan here. He knows he has this in the bag. Or. Okay. God, oh damn, reverse cutter. Hopefully he rolls to the outside of the ring. He gets himself safe for a second. And once again, the cold shoulder kicking dirt right into his face. And Lou is telling him to get back in this ring. Oh, jeez. And he throws him off the ropes. Oh, jeez. Oh, running kick! Damn! One, two, three! Oh! He's telling him to get in, and he's, I don't know if he sat down to taunt him or the red cutter! With his own reverse cutter! He's signaling for something. Oh. And a close like damn it all. 
Cody, and you can see the look on Moose's face. He's getting more and more frustrated. He has a spine booster. Damn. He's signaling for it. He wants that pet the gray. Oh, come. And but Lou is weak. Lou couldn't go for the pin. Lou couldn't go for the pin. Damn it. Oh, no, don't do it again. Oh, God. He has him up for another pedigree. He's trying to kill the man. He's trying to destroy this man. Oh, God. No, he's signaling for it. He is going to... Is this what he's signaling? He's going to finish it. No. And Lou. Oh, God, a punch. And a punch. And Cody. Cody has him off. Cody, do it. Cody. Cody has him. Go to car. Cody, please go for the freaking pin. One, two. He did it. He did it. Nick, not only did they defeat your goons then, I mean, de defeat Extreme Defiance, but Nick is still a number one contender for the AEW World Championship currently held by MJF. Damn, Extreme Defiance thought they had this match won. It looks like he was starting to get cocky there. And Defiance is defeated as Dragoons then makes a huge impact here in Tokyo.